Hello YouTube, this is Daddy and Carl again today. Carl is autistic and he loves and collects vacuum cleaners and fans as well and burger alarms. Showing us a fan. And today we're going to be doing the 300 subscriber special. And today we've got part of Kyle's collection out today to show you guys. And we have actually shown all these cleaners individually over the last 18 months or so. The last last week. Yeah, it was. And um, today, all these vacuums, in fact, are all Hoover Juniors and they're all made and in Great what, Britain. And what and what don't work properly? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. All these cleaners were available to buy in the 1960s. Starting from the um, the burgundy and pink one, this one, is a new it's quite an important um, vacuum to a collector because this was the new design of Hoover Jr. Most of the cleaners before were more of of the older style like the 119 and the original 370. This one was new because what they did they actually they they absolutely um, decided to actually streamline the design a bit on it, and being make a six, it and make it coloured, and make it coloured. That's right, Kyle. This one also has a 250 watt motor. All the other ones, all the juniors before, had a 225 watt motor, and they used that right up to about 1977. And this one also, as you can see. It's, it's like a rose pink colour on the top with a burgundy bag. This this machine was available between 1958 and up to 1962. This is called a 1334. And you can tell that is these have got round switches. This one has got a square one. Um, this one there also as well is a later one because it's got a plastic... Um, belt cover, the the original ones had a metal belt cover and quite often scratched up. It also has a adjuster, there is a two there is a there's a two setting adjuster isn't there Carl? On the bottom. On the bottom. These all have two these all have the same adjuster on them, haven't they Carl? Yeah, the bandeau one it is. Got a, a slider there. That's right. The the later ones in the seventies had like a slider. The another interesting fact about this one was it still retains the original style bag slider, and it was quite awkward. This also was the first time they actually introduced a disposable paper bag yeah. in the junior range because all the other ones had a shake out bag, and obviously, as the world changed, people wanted cleaner. And better um, machines. Um, so this one is a 1334. The next two are both the same model. Oh and this one is made of metal as well but these are like a white painted metal. And these are metal that's and right. these are plastic and that's plastic. That's right. Yeah, so in fact, so Carl's actually give away what we was going to say. These two are the same same model. These are 1334As. Now, there's actually three colour schemes for these two. These. Carl's only got two of these, haven't you? Yeah. This one is the... Oh, you've seen this one on a few weeks ago. The handle lace has been changed. The um, bag's not popping on at the bottom. Oh, yeah, because I was doing some sewing. Doesn't matter because we're not using them. So anyway, back to the video. now. Right, back to the video again. As you can see, these bags are actually very similar. This one's being grey, and this one's the burgundy one. But as you can see, yeah, that's all right. This one here is the A model, and as you can see, they changed the design on these two slightly again. Alright, I will do. 
These two I've got, as you can see, this one has got like a proper Hoover badge. This one, these two have got a more of a plastic, more of a modern design of that time. And the bigger ones are the rarer ones. That's right. Um, these two are 1334s. They both have got very different bags. How you can tell a 1334A is because, if you can find, the A, the a has a zip. This one, which is the original 1334, doesn't have a, a zip. And it actually is quite, and, these, and this is why these bags used to rip, because to take the paper bag out of there, you need to use a slider and, and obviously over the years that will wear away so that's why you find a lot of these here have also got um, no, rips. no rips in them are they they're not yeah. so bad but like you say these these two bags are the same and now not the whip in there that's the main difference between and the, that have a whip in there it did didn't it <laughs> I sort of do that this one also is made of metal yep uh, paint chipping. Paint chipping there. And then it's in the metal now. And this is not actually a white, it's like a grey white this one. Yeah. So to actually get a hand release match to it was quite hard. And uh, what does and what kind of that is? Right, we'll get back to this one here. Now, this one is between 1962 and 1965. Mm. And then around 1965 they updated it again. So they say this is the 1334A. They changed the the bag slightly. They've got like a more of a ribbed material. These three also have a ribbed cable. That's got a grey rib. That's got the white ribbed cable. This one, the main difference is, is a more modern version because this one is actually the first time you use plastic on the on the cleaners. So these two are the same, but that one's a metal one, and that one's made of plastic. And then around 1967, they come out with this one. It's a slightly different design again now. This is the 1346. A. No, it's not an A. This is the original 1346. The main difference is in the, the 70s models, used to have the slider on it. Obviously, to adjust to the shag rugs and that, that you used to have. So, um, that's the main difference, really. I mean, they have got the same adjusters on the bottom. The actual quality, if you look at this one to this one, this is a lot, it just seems to be a lot more flimsier and, and more cheaper made. And what, and when, and when do we get to the dirt section? We will do in a minute. Um, so this one, like I get said has got the same material bag again it also has a zip on the side uh, so you can get at yes. the thing that's the older one that's right this one is a 1968 model and um, the original ones that come out uh, mad about Hoover's had one or has got one and he that has a, it used to have a pumpkin orange front the original ones come out that were in 1967 this one is a 68 model. It still has the larger roundel. Um, the later one again had a smaller roundel. And how to get these scents off? Oh, you got to put them at the front. So you've got like a, yeah. this one here also. Got it's got like a little lip so you can pull that one down. And it's got one spring. It's got one of those do peel things. Now you may, you may ask, so where's the rating sticker? The rating sticker is actually on the sole of the machine and quite often they get worn away, don't they? Then, over time. The so we got this one at just round Christmas time. And why are they going to sell this one? Are a long time. And why are they going to sell this one? And what's that one called, Kyle? Dirt sensor. Yeah, but it's not called a, a. This one is a 1969, which is a fairly rare version of it. This is the Hoover Junior Deluxe, and it would have also come with a set of tools like that. Um, maybe the box is different but the tools were the same inside so this is the Dulux version which the was Dulux made dirt set, but was also yeah so this is the Hoover Junior Deluxe they also did a Hoover Junior Deluxe in the 70s didn't they with a hard box on it what hard box 
Yeah, and the rat one has got hard box there. It's and it's all it's uh you know the ones you know the high the high powered ones. That's right. Yeah. It's so they also ones. so this is a nineteen sixty nine Hoover Junior Dulux with tools. It would have had. And you it, can tell the sixty nine model. It's got the boo bit. It's got the blue on the front. The bag also. This kind of. This one here also has got a normal flex which will which they used in in on the later 1346s and when and when and when are going to tell the it popular? was also white yeah. like like the original 1346s as, as well and when are going to tell the pod to win and when are the hoovers i don't know when are we going to do that what's that oh yeah we can do that one in a minute well this one also has the same material bag that's how you can tell the 69 models <laughs> The late, I think, around about 1970, they changed the material again. And here's all the children shields they got. So the, the, the bandeau. So, one. like you say, this one is fairly rare. I mean, there are a lot of collectors that want that one. Um, we oh. were very, very fortunate to find that one. Here's the material. This one soft. Here's yeah, that's right. One. That's very similar to 119 material, isn't it? Yeah, that one there is absolutely cracking condition. Stetson. But, um, yeah, that's got the bags in it. Yeah, and so tell, Cole's dying to tell you, sadly, not one of them does not run, does it? Poppany. Right, so all these here... One. All run. That one there has got an issue with the motor and our... What noise is it making? It didn't sound very healthy. I actually had that one apart last year and I rebuilt it and lubricated them and it's not sound... I, I know... The rat two kisses is going to that. Yeah, so we've had it. That one has been apart. So I, what, what I'm going to do is, if anybody can remember, I used to have a metal version of this 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 one here, which was a bit scruffy, but the motor actually runs really smooth. So I'm actually oh. going to do a motor transplant out of a, a metal bodied 1344A a. and um, put it in that one because it is practically the same motor I mean these all have the 250 watt motor they do also clean rugs quite well don't they I mean people going on about all the modern you know this Dyson. and that and all that lot I mean Carl does like the Dyson cleaners and all the, and, and the sharks and things like that so yeah so this really is so we won't be switching these on the day this is just a look video only and they actually have all these cleaners all in a row like that. And when, and it's when, pretty amazing, isn't it? And when are going to turn that one back on? The pink one. Well, I'm going to have to... That's another job for me to do now. And when are going to do a video with the pink one? Which one again? So this one really... Oh, yeah. And back to this one. There is another t colour scheme of this one. There is the Swedish green... I want um, that colour. Yeah. So uh, we are looking out for a Swedish green one now. I want to see if your skin looks like. That looks, that's like the cylinder one you got upstairs, the green one that um, vacuums cleaner reviews give, didn't he? Yeah. That we might be bought off. In I like that colour. We do like that colour, no, yeah. It's the same colour as that one. It's very similar, but the, the bag, the front of it's slightly different, isn't it? It's like a lighter green on the front of this one. Yes, 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 yes! So there we have it. The 300 subscriber special for Vacuum Man 8. Um, yeah. We have had people, uh, and to be honest with you, if he actually did, and I got if he did actually have the full collection in the room, it, you just would not move in here, and you would not be able to actually do any good videos about it, would you? Yes. Because you've got quite a lot of who does not it'll you? be like, it'll be like new matter nectar. They were always vacuum. Oh yeah, pneumatic collector's got a very impressive amount of vacuums. And that's and that's on, and that's and that's also this minimal being with my all my vacuums. He, he has got a very impressive amount of vacuums, yeah. doesn't he? Bye. What do you say? Bye for now. And please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8. We will be showing some more vintage cleaners. We'll be starting on the 70s ones, I think. And the So like I say, these are the 60s collection. 60s! We will start on the 70s collection in the next couple of weeks. What do you say now? Bye! Um, please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8 if you want to see some more vacuums. We also have got modern ones as well. And look at this radio on this.
Yeah, Cole's actually wants to get his fans out. We're, he's actually going to be doing a few fan videos for his other channel because it is the season for it. It's the season. Be the sunny. Da, 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 da. Bye for now.